And that's the title, Never Ending Story. And here is the man what sings it. And it's uh, a great video. Thank it you. really is a great video. But uh, you, didn't, you didn't pay for all those um, cuddly toys yourself. It's part of a film. Well, that's right. And uh, obviously, because the budget on a film is so much bigger, and when they say that we're going to use clips from the film, um, great. You can get a, a, you know, a much better video, mm. and uh, the film companies pay for it. What's the film about? The film is about a boy who reads a book, and suddenly everything he's reading in the book becomes real. So, like, he goes into the book and it comes into real life, like mm. a dream coming true, fantasy, science fiction. I mean, you know, you saw it there. Yeah, yeah you've got a good taste of it there. Um, the film doesn't come out uh, till March, and you're singing the title song that we see at the beginning and the end. And it's all on the screen when the yeah. credits go and everything, so I'll be sneaking in the back of the cinemas. Yeah. Going, Ooh. yeah. Uh, how did you get the job? Uh, Georgia Moroda was... Uh... That's all right, it's a meteor shower keeps going past. Don't worry about that. <laughs> George Moroda was, uh, the guy who produced it and wrote it, was in Japan judging a thing called the Tokyo Music Festival, which is a big contest in Japan. Uh, I was there with Laura Branigan and some other people. And uh, he was a judge, and he just called me up like three weeks later, say, do you want to sing this song for me? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting, though, this sort of Japavision song contest. I, I, I didn't know much about this until, until I, I tweaked it with you. So what do they do? They have... They have different countries represented by a top pop star from that country. Yeah. And they just perform against each other. And what do they judge it on? Uh, I think they judge it on mainly the song, but obviously uh, dress and, 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 and like new faces of, sort of star mm. quality or something like that. Good idea. Do you think it would go down well in this country, something like that? I don't know. No. Yeah. It's just a very big thing there. They've had 13. Uh, <laughs> like last year, the winner was Lionel Richie. And some of the big winners, names. Yeah, very big names. Big some names. of the winners have been like three degrees. Yeah, yeah. big um, names. Randy Crawford, right. people like that. And so that film then, that comes out in March, but the single that we were listening to, that's not out till Monday, so nobody can buy it this afternoon. They can't. Right. And then there's the album as well, because you're ever so busy. Close there's up the on the album. Oh, not yeah. too close. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to direct. I'm not, and nor are you. This is not out for four weeks. Right. But, uh, I November the 5th, an easy date to remember. Yeah, it yeah. is. But this is, uh, because it's already out in Germany, this is the German pressing. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Sorry to interrupt, I think Bonnie's but I've got, got something, something quite interesting special here. here. Hello, Lamar. Hi. I've got Joanne and Sharon here who've written an extremely long, long letter, a hundred foot long letter. Do you want to climb in there and uh, to you, Lamar, because they so wanted to meet you. Have we got time to read it now? Well, I think it would take us rather a long time, Shall wouldn't we open it? it? Let's yes. open it out. Let's open it out, Sharon. Now. Can you grab that? Well, if I grab one end, we can take it all the way across the starship, I think. It's okay. so long. Go you on. hold the one end, Lamar, and I'll climb across the things back here. Lamar always loved singing, even from an early age. It's got your whole life da, 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 da. Oh, my God. How long did it take you to write? About a month. Oh. 40 summer, because we had a bash at 10.